Hey YouTube, welcome back to Part Time Fab. I'm Sean. So today's project uh, is going to be a little different than usual. Um, I am actually building a stand for my vise. I've got a few pieces here, a few heavy pieces actually. Uh, my plan is to take this, I'm going to cut this up a little bit, maybe, uh, maybe just drill some holes in it and bolt it to the top of this brake drum. And then we're going to take this, this I-beam or H-beam, and hopefully, uh, I don't have uh, my cutting torches just yet. i uh, got to go get those refilled, but uh, maybe, uh, hopefully maybe a bandsaw, I can fit, fit it in there, just uh, put it in, make a cut, flip it over, Try to get the cut lined up, make the cut again, and hopefully it'll reach. And then, then if the bandsaw can't get it cut all the way through, then maybe we'll take a reciprocating saw and, and finish the next little bit, and then take the grinder and, and clean clean it up a little bit. And then, uh, then I got another piece of this this uh, half inch three quarter or uh, three eighth stock plate and weld it to this and then it'll be a nice stand for a, for a big heavy duty vise. Right now my vise is real small so the stand will dwarf the vise but uh, hopefully get a get a six inch vise pretty soon and put on top of this. Uh, also I've got an, an idea I've got I've got two of these brake drums. I've got a Got an idea for another stand. Might work on it. Uh, might mix some of that video in as well. Uh, I'm going to take take some uh, some two inch square tubing and weld that to one of these plates. I've got a I've got a couple of these plates and uh, weld that to to make a stand. You know, about the right height. And then I have another piece of square tubing that will slip over top of that make kind of a, a, a interchangeable joint with even more of this plate on top of that then what that will give me is uh, is a very universal stand I'll have the big heavy part uh, might uh, might even need to put a piece of plate or sheet weld that to the bottom of this fill this with sand I don't I'm not real sure might have enough weight you know to keep keep it sturdy enough but um, anyway the stand will have uh, the tops will be interchangeable so uh, probably have a, a T welded in right here to, uh, to be able to lock it down on top um, should make for a, a really nice stand and um, I'm not sure how many videos will be uh, will be made for this probably be working on this all weekend so uh, may still not get it done. Uh, this may prove to be quite the chore to cut this H-beam in, in pieces. So uh, try to get some footage and cut it down. I know you don't want to watch all the busy work uh, involved in just uh, watching paint dry, so to speak. So uh, with that, uh, let's get some stuff laid out and uh, do some measuring.
Okay, so the day is, is pretty much done for me. I'm really tired. It's pretty cold outside. The garage door has been cold, open all day, so I'm really cold. I'm ready to get done. Uh, had some, stopped and had some lunch, so uh, it's getting later in the evening. Been working on this all day. Uh, it's, it's usually slow going for me when uh, you don't have a whole lot of tools and you know, uh, you have to do a couple things by hand instead of having machinery. So uh, probably as most of you know, it, it is slow going when you got your own garage and you're doing things and things are in the way and everything. So this is as much as I could get done. I got the, uh, the drum cleaned up, painted, and I got the stand or the, uh, the top of the drum here. Uh, welded. I got the, the bottom drilled and welded in and painted and I'm just when I get ready to weld the top on I'll just clean the paint off and repaint it. Ain't no big deal. Shoot some more paint on it. No big deal at all. So um, the reason I didn't go ahead and get finished is I've got a piece of plate to, uh, to go on top here but um, it's a little big and I think I want a different, a smaller size. So um, my, my cutting torches, I don't have uh, any gas today. Uh, I hope to go get some gas maybe this week and um, be able to finish that up. So um, not sure when this one will, uh, when I'll put this one on YouTube. Uh, I've got a couple of other videos to uh, release between uh, probably this week coming so this one will probably be a week late but um, no big deal we'll uh, hopefully get to cutting torches uh, gassed up and uh, get that plate cut and weld it to the top of that and then we'll be ready for a vise might even uh, go pick up a vise to uh, a larger vise to put on the top uh, Lowe's has a nice vise that uh, it uh, you turn it, it's got the vice jaws on one side, and you turn it over, and it's got a pipe jaw on the other side. And uh, it, it looks, looks pretty good. Um, price is right. You know, it's under $100. Uh, the part I like about it is um, this could be both a good and a bad. When you clamp something in the vise and you, you, you lock it down, you know, what if it moves a little bit with you? Because that's what I thought would be a, a good is you could turn the jaws a little bit and maybe work on something at kind of an angle. Might be real handy, but that also might not be very good. So uh, I'm going to go on some uh, forums and see what everybody else has to say about that and uh, might, um, might pick one of those up. So uh, until next time, thanks for watching Part Time Fab. And as always, please rate, comment, and hit that big subscribe button. Let me know, uh, you know, comment, let me know what you think. And we'll see you next time.